Hello, my name is Musumi Stadler. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Quebec in Montreal. And today I would like to start by saying that I was not really good in school. My grades were quite average with a tendency of actually being quite bad, especially in the sciences. And on top of that, I would have blackouts during exams or when giving presentations because I would just be so afraid of being judged by people. So if you would tell my science teachers back then that um, I'm pursuing a PhD in biology right now, I'm pretty sure they'd laugh at you. When I think back what actually shaped the person who I became today, um, I think that it was the holidays that I spent either in the mountains of Austria or in the city of Tokyo with my family that exposed me to these huge differences between nature and overpopulated cities. And I think that really shaped my love, but also the concern for the nature of our Earth. So after I graduated high school, I really wanted to help reduce the damage we as humans have on our planet in any way possible. So with full of ambition, um, I moved from Japan to Austria to study biology. Actually, I hit a big wall um, at the beginning of my studies. I almost failed um, the first exams. And because I also had to study hard for the first time in my life, and I, so I almost failed, but I somehow managed to graduate and be where I am today. Um, I think it was quite early in my studies that I was really amazed to learn that we humans can only live and thrive because of the tireless efforts of these cr tiny creatures that we cannot even see but are always around us. And these microorganisms actually control many elemental cycles, including oxygen, nitrogen and carbon, all of which we depend on through food, uh, drinking water and even the air we breathe. And because of this fascination, now I study the ecology of microorganisms in fresh waters. Well, who knows um, what the future will bring for me. I, I'm still in a very early stage of my career, but I sincerely hope to understand how the role of microorganisms change in our landscapes by considering also the connection between forests and fresh waters, for example and how they respond to changes in the environment, both um, naturally, like seasons, but also through um, human impact, such as agriculture or damming of rivers. But I think really, in, in general, I just want to fascinate people with these tiny creatures um, the same way they fascinated me, because they may not be fluffy, cute or pretty. Well, <laughs> actually, if you ask me, they're quite pretty but I'm probably biased, but uh, what I really want to say is that they're actually a huge part of the backbone of all life on this planet, and we better do not take them for granted, because at the moment we do not really know um, how they will respond to climate change. So, science besides, and uh, what I really want you to take home from my story is I don't want you to get discouraged to climb the academic ladder just to you because you were not born a genius. Um, I'm not going to lie, you will struggle, you will feel underrepresented when you look around you, but you will find great colleagues and that will probably become your friends to support each other. And most importantly, you should stop looking around, comparing yourself to others, take your own time and focus on what you're doing rather than how other people perceive you, and at least this change in mindset really helped me to overcome the stress blackouts that I had, and I think if the introverted me managed to do that, I think you can do it too.